Excuse me. Chicago Lyric used to have a button that said, opera is the most expensive form of insanity. And uh, I don't think it's insane at all. It's, it's a wonderful art form, but it's the most complicated art form, I think, that there is. We, we looked at the, the requirements that the composer wants. A composer has its particular sound, a particular character he wants for each person or a color of voice. And so he'll choose like a tenor or a baritone or a bass or a soprano or a mezzo. Then we go through that, we see who's best suited to that piece, that uh, character and that and vocally. And then we start uh, coaching. Uh, the costuming, of course, in this one, it's set in 1985. So we had to go back and see what we were wearing in 1985, those of us who were alive in then. It's a complicated process. And then we get together with the orchestra. And you have the whole colors of the orchestra, of which the orchestration um, for Professor Chapman's music is very colorful, very interesting. Um, and so the performers have to respond to that as well, because we're always responding to two languages, the spoken or sung and the pure music. Then you have all the technical things available then, all the props, all the lighting, the sound, if there's any sound effects or anything like that. And we put them all together and we work through that piano rehearsal. And that's usually a longer piano rehearsal, a longer rehearsal because you need to get all these technical things done. And um, they must run smoothly. And of course, that's where you realize that opera is the ultimate in team sports as well. The singers will be nervous and these are young singers. They're learning how to do this. This of all the things is very difficult because we can't break that other wall in front of us, right? We have to make the audience believe that this in itself is the action. This is the reality. And of course, we have two opening nights because we have two casts. So each, for, for each of them, it's an opening night. Sometimes I'm nervous and sometimes if I know that a singer has struggled with a particular part, I'll be sitting there and I won't let anybody see it, but I've got my fingers crossed. <laughs> and I'm sending energy to those people. The performance is the performance. You know, there's a magic. I love that line in Shakespeare in Love where the one guy comes up and says to Shakespeare, like, how is this all going to happen? What, what's going to, how will we do this? And, and he says, I don't know, it's a miracle. And then all of a sudden it happens and it's magic. Um, that's the wonderful thing about live performing arts. And it's the wonderful thing about teaching live performing arts and watching those students come alive and bloom and just realize their full potential. It, there's really nothing like it because you're watching like the first step of a child. You're watching, oh my God, they took their first step, you know, and, uh, and, then, they, and then you watch them as they stay here four to six years or longer and they become better and better performers and then they can step on any stage and do anything and it's just so incredibly wonderful. I always feel very privileged to be able to be part of that.